And action. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to Ooh. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl King Dini. Obviously back with another video. So today we have a bottle of sparkling grape juice and we're going to pop this because why? We've reached 600 subscribers. <laughs> so I did say on my on my on my WhatsApp story that when we reach a thousand subscribers, I will buy a house of BNG. So Bonan's champagne. So if you guys want to see actual things on this channel, subscribe. But yo. <laughs> Okay, wait, it's coming. It's happening. Okay. okay, and so today we're basically talking about how to talk to your parents and parents how to talk to your kids about things. No, I'm doing my first. So, mom's gonna start while I busy pour here the okay. so Oh, and P.S. the babies are drinking. Twist delicious, twist. Yes. Delicious. And we're not promoting anyone twisted. Yes. We just uh -huh. twist. Delicious. Twist. Delicious. And then the whole delicious. point of the babies being here is so that we have a younger audience. Uh, we have a younger audience and um, parents out there find it difficult to communicate to their younger children about challenges that they come across in life like bullying, like, you know, when they get to a certain age, like age 9, age 10, they start having crushes. And how do you talk about that? As a black parent, how do you advise your child if she comes to you and says, Mom, I have a crush on somebody without slapping them across their face? Because that's what the first instinct would be. But we've passed that stage of um, resolving matters by beating our children. We find ways to speak and communicate. And that is why today's episode is very important. So that the, the younger uh, kids can also express themselves. And we can also find solutions about things that they come across out there that we might not know about. Guys, we just PS on my end. So Don't come at us for filling our glasses up to the top. Sitengile, too so so it puts a mati fanta. Oh, cheers! Cheers! Six hundred. Yes, cheers, Bob. To the six hundred. Cheers, subscribers, and to six and to six hundred thousand more. Yes. Okay, guys. Let's get into the video. Yeah, yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay, gosh. guys, we're starting now. So, who wants to go first? Start from the old. I think. No, we're starting. <laughs> yes, you can start. I think with the bullying situation, um, sometimes kids find it hard to tell their parents that they're being bullied, um, because they maybe might be scared because their parents are obviously gonna throw attention and go to school, and then the bullies obviously gonna. Mm, excuse me, bully them even more. I remember when I was bullied in grade four, I didn't go to my parents. I went to Jadine and I told her. And what she told me was, I mustn't tell my parents. And I continued huh. being bullied up until the teachers had to inform my parents that but I was. But you know why? And you know then what? I went, and this parent went. Ongena. Ongena. But to be fair, you know why? English. Because my mother pays school fees so that I can also <laughs> no, but, shout okay, in you know English why? and require Wait, some information as oh, to they're why going to make it seem child. like I'm a bad sister. But you know why I say she my sister? Because number one, I know how my parents are. In grade five, I had an instance of, because of my name, we have relatively have English names of Shut up! Incidents. In, in, in this instance, Jada, it's oh. English. Yo, grade Yo. nine. <laughs> so what had happened in grade five was, okay, so... There was this teacher of mine, um, I won't say her name, but she basically asked why my parents named me JD, right? And so my best friend at the time was in the class as well. She went to go tell her mom, and her mom and my mom knew each other because 
my sister Jada at the time grade one and her brother were in grade one together so she told her mom that my teacher asked me this in class and so her mom told my mom and now my mom came at me and she's like why didn't you tell me your teacher's asking you this I didn't think it was that deep and that's the thing that's why I said Jada and did not go because, to school? yeah she went to school but it was then she explained and she actually got along with my teacher because she explained why she what she meant basically I knew mom tends to trip that's, that's why I was very shy but that's why I was like to Jada rather don't yes Jada, yes, Jada. I remember this one time where I was in where we were in Joburg and then I came back from school and this other time and then I was crying and then Jane asked what was wrong and then I said these boys went mom and then mom came back from somewhere and then she's and then Jaden told and then mom said she was going to go to school and she was gonna beat them. But then she was like, No, Jaden, you're going you're going to go tomorrow and you're gonna go talk to those boys but because of obvious reasons, if I had gone there and I had, I was going to lose my mind and start beating some children because it's not a nice thing for a child to be bullied. But we must get to the bottom of why the children bully other children. And in, in, Jada's, in Jade's instance, it's simply because the children at her school kept on wanting to know, who's your mother? Who's your mother? And it started, you know, how did you feel about that? Uh, it was getting really annoying. Yeah. And today, did you have any instances? Were you ever bullied? Uh, yes. I, Please don't, tell don't, us don't, about your story. How was your experience? It was really scary. Why but was tell it scary? us about it, what happened. So the people... So that the other people, people can... You will help someone else with your child. story. Okay. So this one time, don't say their name. Me and my friend we were walking mm -hmm. to the tech shop because Daddy gave me tech money to go. Okay. And then it's like that we were busy walking. Then there was this boy who was busy uh. selling. Please, Jaden, no. Who was busy selling these things? Then he said, um, I'll give you this whole bottle for your money. Then we said whole no. Whole bottle of what? It was um, these fishes. Squishies? Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, squishies. Uh, from our generation, squishies are those things that you buy in a packet and then they grow in water. And we were told that they were like fish. So oh, that's what she means. I so yes. No, but carry on to Deja. Then we were busy walking. Then he came at the back of us and then he took our money. <gasps> you never told us this. You got robbed. You got, you got robbed at school. school and you didn't tell us. He didn't oh, tell us. You didn't give us gangsta. Today, so you got robbed at school and you didn't tell us. We were there about shouting. Wait, I told the teacher and then they went on the intercom busy saying, um, Have you seen a boy running and break time? Um, Excuse me? Oh, Have you seen funny. a boy running? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is running! Guys, <laughs> please can so But then he was running back to his class and then he went to go put the money in his bank. You want mad there so school, how, So how was that resolved? How did the teacher resolve that? Did she ever sort it out? Uh, no, she was, going to, she was going to every class. How? Why didn't you identify? Why didn't she go with you? So today, why, why, what was it that made you not tell us? Not tell us. Uh, can be honest, it's a safe space. Because it was the time after um, that boy was bullying Jade. How? It's the same then, boy? No, yeah. No, huh? no, no, not the same boy. Excuse me, I was going to say it's a stem. And then, I saw how mom reacted, so I was scared to tell you. Oh my gosh, am I this mom that everyone... Guys, no, my I get gosh, angry no. because I don't like anyone touching my children or bullying my children or making my children feel uncomfortable. So naturally, as Mama Bear, I will go and attack. Yeah, you and my mom are the same, eh? Hey? My would, mother scared the teacher of mine in high school. He wouldn't even call me by my name anymore on the ranches. They just look at me and be like, oh, she's here. Yeah. Um, so, and then, and then, so, so what I want to 
share in this safe space is if someone makes you uncomfortable outside of your home, it is okay to come back home and tell. Because if you don't tell your mother, who are you going to tell? So you will continue being be, be bullied by somebody until it gets so bad that it gets to a point where you are depressed or something bad happens to you because you are protecting someone from your your mother. Rather let someone your mother that, rather let your mother go to school and sort it out with the teachers than keeping quiet. But also, I want to add. Yes, I understand that. I've never been bullied, guys, because quite I was always that that girl that was just friends with everybody. But some kids find it hard because like once you tell <laughs> once you tell the teachers what's going on, okay, or tell your parents and then your parents come to school and tell the teachers, it becomes worse. So how so do the you bullying handle? becomes worse yes. or do you get bullied because by it's, no you it, the bullying becomes worse because it's like, oh when are you do you a snitch and then it just becomes worse. Well me I don't mind. I keep coming back mm. and I keep mooring that child. I'll go to the child itself and moor. And then you don't have friends if anymore. Because huh? no one wants to hang out with the snitch. For me, the situation of that snitch thing. I know whole three from grade one up until grade seven. I was a snitch, you know what I mean? And I got bullied for being a snitch. I got bullied because um, I was a good student. I got bullied because I was SRC, you know what I mean? I got bullied for all these nonsensical reasons because I was a leader. You know what I mean? I got bullied because I was a leader. Jada is actually so, like she's the only leader in this house. I mean, oh, we've all been leaders. So I was counselor in my school, you know. And I was one in the We're not belittling our sorry. position. I was the head game. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in my instance is that this thing of not having friends because you're a snitch is absolute nonsense. Bobo's head is up. Yes, but but you've had a chance to you've speak. Bobo hasn't said anything at all. Okay, Jaden speak. Jaden. <coughs> the last time I school in my old school, when a boy took a boy made me get into trouble with the teacher. What did he do? He threw clay at me and then then I threw it back and then my stick fell off the table and I, then my teacher hit me. Ha ha! Excuse me? Hit you? And you didn't tell us. Is that why you dropped out of preschool? Oh my oh, goodness. My Guys, <laughs> let's just why? take a moment. <laughs> my brother dropped out of... He was my inspiration to dropping out of university actually. <laughs> <laughs> He was a brave young boy. He dropped out of preschool. And he said it was okay because he was moving to Durban. He was going to go to a new preschool. Yes. But it breaks my heart that the, the story comes out now as a dream. But this is, we're glad that it's coming out now in a safe space because yes. it's going to encourage you to tell your parents as well because it's never too late to tell them. Tell yeah. them. Even if it means that you've got to leave the school because it gets worse at the school. Tell your parents about the bullying situation. Bob is only telling us now. How many months later? A year. A year later, that he was beat up by his school teacher. He was hit. He was hit. <laughs> <laughs> he was, beat up is very strong. He was hit. But I want yes. to say something else. Yes. And Stop say, picking your nose. Our viewers don't appreciate you picking your nose. I was scratching. Oh, okay. He was scratching everybody. And there was this last time when James Taylor was dropping me off by Chris and then a, a Jade Crush that she didn't like. Skinny was. Schedule was what? A, a fake report and then a random Jade's crush. No, he liked me. Yes, but that's what Bobo said. Bobo, Bobo is saying Jade's crush that yeah, she didn't she like. Didn't like. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Also, that's very okay, guys. So we're not so concerned. Not concerned. So we're not only focused on bullying. It's okay to talk to your parents about your crushes. relationships. Yes. It, because we are discussing feelings here. Yes. When you start what feeling something, inside? it's important to express 
to, yes. to tell your parents. Yes. Yes. And there's, there's a story that our teacher told us. It was about bullying. There was this boy, he went to boarding school. And then he got bullied there from the bigger boys. And then when he told his parents, they didn't care. They just laughed. And then the te then because he didn't want to tell the teachers because he was scared that if he told the teachers, the teachers were going to confront him and then they were going to bully him even more. Then they told he told this other teacher and the teacher made it look like the boy didn't even tell. Huh? Okay. So basically, the moral of the story is some parents don't care. But that's why we're here. Just... Open up, open up to your parents. Open, open up to your parents, and, and parents, please pay attention your to your children. It doesn't matter how small you think the, the incident that happened at school is. Pay attention, because these things, they escalate. They become bigger and bigger, and as they grow older, it becomes worse. And that's when you find our children suffering from depression and they don't want to go to school and they start um, banking school and doing funny things. It all starts from things like bullying and a child starts hating school and but you have got to pay attention as a parent. I know we're not always there but if we have time to speak with them, you know, just pay attention. See like I was very comfortable texting my mom saying, hey mom, I'm not going back to a university, you know? Just build that relationship with your moms and dads. I'm not saying go drop out. That's not what I'm saying. No. <laughs> but, no, but, okay, hey, side note, side note. Hey, side note. If you're not happy, rather leave it. Lost it? Tell your parents, mom, is not for me. I'd like to try something else. Because number one, when you're done and you're sitting at home with this degree that you don't want, what are you going to do? You're going to try to decide. I don't think that's the way. Rather, avoid that situation. Exit in the beginning, so you don't have to exit the world. So basically, no, we, why are we clapping? Because my is <laughs> amazing. For exit me, in the beginning before you exit the world, Bob. Uh, no. For me, sorry. Um, I just want to say something. You know, obviously, I'm. I can talk to my parents about anything, but now I am another. I'm Kay. I'm Kathy now. Right, you know what I mean? She does me. <laughs> scenarios. Now you guys are talking, right? You say, open up to your parents, this, da 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 da. And I know that there's someone watching this is like, it's not that simple. I'm Kathy, that person that's like, it's not that simple. So, how do I do it if my parents are always gonna like be like, if I say, I like someone, no, you're gonna get out of my house, no, 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 no. How do I sit those types so of parents? So, this down? is a note for those parents. We are, we are living in, in, in these times where things have changed. We are not our parents because most parents today that have school going and varsity going children are basically parents that were born between what, the 60s and the 70s. We were brought up a certain way where you were not allowed to say certain things to your parents. You cannot repeat the same thing to your children. You cannot um, threaten your children the minute they want to tell you something or the minute they tell you something that you feel uncomfortable hearing you cannot react by saying get out of my house or you will not talk to me like that or shut up you will take a moment you will breathe as a parent if you don't have a proper answer at the moment and at that moment of you being told whatever it is that you're being told breathe just say we'll talk about it later go think about it and think about how you will approach it because we are living in a different 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 times the children of today are different to us we could take it they they are taking it in a different way it feels like as a parent if you shut your child down they will never talk to you and then that's why they find outside people those creepy people that end up taking care of those children those are, that's how it happens you find a creepy person to talk to and then they become creepier and creepier. <laughs> Is that what you want? So if you if you don't know how to respond, just take a moment, breathe, take some time and think about it. And watch and our then, great and then, couch. And watch our, oh our, watch our great couch. Um, great when, great, our great <laughs> couch conversations. Whenever, and watch our great couch conversations. And maybe you'll pick up a couple of, of pointers. Of, you know, pointers. Uh, Popo's hand has been up. Yes, Jaden. I didn't. 
I think I don't show on the camera. You do you show Jade on the camera. You show You will see yourself. All okay. right. Jade also had something to say before Jaden, and then we'll go to Mandy. What happened? You, you had something, something to say. say. No, it's so it's Mandy okay, now. Okay, Mandy. Okay. So, ne, let's say your parents isn't like Kathy's parents, ne, and it's just like you have an okay relationship, but you still don't know how to kind of slide in and just be like, by the way, I have a coupling. How do you even, mm, like you're not close, but like you're close, but you're not like open kind of close. Close to the parents. Yes. Like you're close, close to your parents. So like okay. you do this, stuff okay. together. This is, oh, this is. Okay. This Susan. Is, no, Susan now. Okay, Susan. So Susan and her mom are close, close, but they, they are okay. They like, hello, mom, type of vibe. And goodbye, mom. Yes. No, I think the relationship is, hey, no. mom, this is what happened at school. You yeah, have yeah. yeah. other people's okay. lovers, but you can't talk about your own. Yes, exactly. So what you do is, in that situation, you, 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 create, you start the conversation by other people's lovers. And slowly you drop in your nub, <coughs> like one at a time, yeah. one little nub at a time, until it grows. And it's like, then your parent will then become interested in your nub as opposed to other people's nub. Okay, then. And then like, to, but small, small by chance, not big nub, okay. you know. At a time. Just talk about other people's nub and then throw in your nub and say, oh, by the way, this happened to me. Oh, what a, what a, what a, what a. Yeah, hey, and parents sometimes, if we tell you numbers, please keep, keep them to you. They have a way of traveling. What do you mean, <laughs> mom? Keep them to you. I see. Because this what? one time, I was crying on the phone, Nem. And then she told, she's like, yeah, I remember that time. And I don't know, it was her group of friends here on the couch. She's like, it was the same thing when Jada was crying on the phone uh, and she was complaining about her meds. I was like, mom. Well, okay, so something should be a secret. Yeah, no, but at that parents. particular time when it was happening, it was I was at work. Yes, you're we see, but she was unpaid. She was unpaid. I know about the unbaby, but the two other aunts weren't there, mom. And then you just had to. Then she was crying because of meds because she's fainting. And I was like, But it's all over the internet. <laughs> 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 now, it's no longer just two aunties, it's every auntie. Okay, auntie. yes, but yeah, in this okay. scenario. I get it. I apologize for taking your dabas out there. But the dabas I haven't told anyone. You see, so parents, it's okay to apologize to your children. Hey. It's it's not it's so not record that one. It's not crazy. It's it, it happens. Also, me let's stop trashing my mom now. Let's stop going in on my mom. Me, and my mom actually keeps a secret. She's actually pretty cool. Cause I remember in grade one, I had a crush, right? In my class. And because my parents were you see, I didn't get it from me. I got it mostly from my dad in terms of documenting everything. Remember my first day of school was documented mm -hmm. every single moment from me going into class to finding my name on the table. Anyway, let's get back into the story. So there was this guy I liked in my class, right? And then he just so happened to show in one of the videos that Baba took. So I remember one day we were just re-watching those videos and I'm like, hey mama, yeah, that guy is my crush. And I ended up sharing him with my best friend at the time, who was a Caucasian female. Mm -hmm. So we shared this man that my parents knew about. Oh, also wow. in grade four, <laughs> what also at grade four, I was able to tell mom one chunk at a time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not because mom knew about this stuff. In grade, imagine grade four, I was Jade's age. I got into a serious relationship, guys. I, the only reason why we broke up was because he left the province, literally. But mom knew. Mom, don't give me that look. You knew. I, I, I yes. look at my So, experience. this person and I dated for maybe a year and a half or so. But it's because you spoke you about see, it. You see, I told my grade mom. Four. Grade 4. Grade 4. Grade 5. Yeah. So, it means Jade can tell us about You see, her, it's okay to open up. Her pre predicament. 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 Tell us about your predicament, Jade. Do you have a particular predicament? Do you have hmm? a what? A predicament. She doesn't it's, know, like do a you, situation. Is there a situation that you like? like a guy with, with that us. you like, but there's a situation yeah. around it. And you want some advice. So is there saying, a thing that happened with the boy? There we go. Simplify. Don't say the name. No, yeah. no name. Just tell us what happened. We're here. It's a safe space. It's just us. 
seven and the rest of our 617 wow wow well, there's a boy that i like and then it's jada and jd they jada jada jd and jd they kept he was yeah they kept forcing me to go say hi to him but i said no he was outside our house, house. but it wasn't he up played to with you us. it wasn't he up was to you to us she's lying. Her to you go. see now we give her a safe space and she's gonna <laughs> drag our names <laughs> <now. laughs> <laughs> he didn't force her no, he let her finish <laughs> okay finish and then i'll follow my spice <clears throat> and then isn't it that like, yeah, i went into the room and then jayla said jay can and i was like no not now and then she's like oh, okay yeah, and then isn't it our thing thing and then he came inside, he said no, he's gone. And then she did she came in and he said no, he has a girlfriend already. Yep. Like, oh, mm. It's not that deep. You know what happened? Oh. Right? She told us no, she didn't tell us I'm like one of these two. Jadesha or Jada told us. You that see you can't keep your own secrets <laughs> and then you tell me to keep it secrets. Nah. Anyway, <laughs> so they told us that she has a crash in the complex. Fine, shot. That that boy came that day outside our house. house. Our exactly. House. Our so house. We were like, you know, I, I there were so many places. Okay. He came to our okay. house. So as a big sisters, we are like, you know what? We're going to finesse you. We even far a little bit. Why are you going to be we we also, just, I also to took finesse. out my skateboard just to look cool. You see, so we could finesse the situation and help her out. So <coughs> all she needed to go do was play. They thought I was cool. She wasn't ready. She didn't want to go and play. I did. I was did. was forcing her. But it was her. I like it. Wait, but the question that kept popping into my head. What if he asks me, do you like me? That's the... Mm. That's the thing when that you talking. when you go out yeah. and you were not ready for that. Yeah. Yes. Mm. That's the so you so guys had can no I say right. something? No, about you had no right. Right. it's not about that. No, I'm saying I've been in a situation no. like this Trace. where I have told my crush that I like them. It's okay. right, you know. Okay, my end. Ten men now. No, no. Uh, not that one. Oh, good. Oops. <laughs> so I told my crush that I liked him, right? And then after that, well, on my end, it worked out, you know. I just confronted the situation because I didn't want it to build up. <clears throat> I didn't want it to build up and I didn't want to keep hiding from this person. Because at the end of the day, we, we're going to meet up one day. You know what I mean? And in this situation, you guys were in, you guys live in the same place. So my advice is, I'm not wait, mom. Oh, oh. oh I'm sorry. <laughs> So, so my advice to you you as a sister that I've been in the same situation, <laughs> confront the situation while it's still while the wound is still fresh. Because don't just do it while the wound is, is closing up. Because how's that the how's the infection gonna heal while it's you know she's nine. Mom, deep. please speak. <laughs> no, I, I was gonna say, Jade, you are a beautiful little girl. You, if, if you feel something, it's okay. It means you are growing up. You soon will be preteen, and that is amazing. It means you're growing. And if you see someone and you like them, and they don't like you, it's okay. It doesn't mean, like, if you, if you see them, something has to happen. It just means you're growing. There are certain things in your body that are starting to work in a different way. And it's okay to come to mom and to talk about it. And I know mom said, I said to you the other time, don't focus so much on stuff like that. Mm -hmm. if, it, if, if, if you like someone and they don't like you, or they, they, they like you and um, whatever, just talk to mom about it so that mom is able to guide you through it, as opposed to not talking to mom about it. Remember you told me about the, the, the guy that... Um, was going to buy you chocolate on, on Valentine's. Yeah, and then he gave it to his other girl. Oh, oh. the same. You see, all those things, all those things could potentially just give uh, someone a low self-esteem. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with you, the person. Oh. And there's, there's, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the other person. It's just you're young, you're growing up, you are experimenting with things, but. Don't don't put it on your head so much. Don't pay so much attention to it. Remember, you you've got the rest of your life to meet different people. 
you can even go to other countries and meet different people. So if you meet someone here and they don't like you, one day you'll meet someone in another country and they will like you. So it's, okay. it's okay to dabble here and yes. there. It's okay to you date other to people while you're dating one. You know, you can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>